In this tutorial, we'll see how to create views. We'll talk about table views, form views, cards, and Kanban. In the previous tutorial, we we'll talked about how to create a table view. You can create a other views by clicking on this plus sign and selecting the view that you wish to create. If you want to create a table view, you can set up your table name and create a new view. In the previous tutorial, we talked about the table view, where you can add new fields by clicking on the title and displaying new columns or hiding columns. You can also change the size of the column and the rows. In the table view, you can also delete records, do multiple selections, and create new records. You can also filter, sort by ascending and descending, group, and do calculations. In this tutorial, we'll also see how you can create conditional formatting. To create a conditional formatting, click on the conditional formatting button and create a new rule. In this case, for the total price, we want to assign a color if the value is greater than 100. And in this case, the background will be green. So we can click now on OK. And we see that the values for our total are highlighted in green. We can also see the total value here in our form in the subtable. Moving forward, to create a new view, we can click on the plus sign and select the view that we want. So let's now create a form view. And if we simply click on OK, it is going to create a view with a standard name. A form view is a simple display of the form. And in the form, you can change the layout of your record. So you can always add new fields add new formulas, layout elements to change the layout of your form, and continue creating links to other tables. To move from one record to another in a form view, you can click on your keyboard on the up and down arrow, or you can click on the icon go to next or go to previous. The form view will be very useful when creating dashboards for your database. Moving forward, let's now create a card view. So let's click on card and OK. So here we see that a card view has been created. The card view can be also customized, so we can add the fields that we want to display by clicking on edit columns and selecting the fields that we wish to show. For example, if we want to display here, we have already the client's name, but if we want to put also the client's, let's say the client's email, image, you can also put it here. Okay, so you see here, the, the client's image. A better way to display the cards is if you have a choice field. So in this case, let's create a choice field for the status of, of this invoice. So let's click on plus on the plus sign and add a choice field for status. And in the status, we will add some choice values for example, new, sent, paid, and canceled. We can also add some colors. also icons 
Let's just put the columns, the colors in this case. Let's bring our status field to the top of the page and save changes. So now let's put some status in our records. Okay. And also in this case, it would make sense to put a default value to be new. So whenever a new record is created, it will be set as a status new. So now that we have the status, let's also add the status in our card view. So let's put it here, status. And here we can see the status of our records. We can also group them by status. So if we click now on, on the status field and click on group, we will see all the records that have this status. So if we now go and create a new record, so it now has been added in the new section. Now let's create a Kanban view. So let's click on the plus sign, click on Kanban and click on OK. The Kanban has been automatically created with the same conditions as the previous one as the card view but if you click on another view for example this one that is much simpler and it doesn't display this the status view yet and if we click on a new view it is going to bring the configuration of this one so for example if we click on a kanban view and create a kanban 2 we see that it brings the configuration of the first one. And the Kanban always recommends to display a status as your columns. So in this case, we can simply click on status and it's going to create a view as we want. If we don't want to have an empty section here, because we don't really need the empty status to be here. We can hide the empty status by clicking on our status field and selecting required yes. So now we don't see the empty status here anymore. In the Kanban view, we can also change the, the records from one status to the other by drag and drop. So we see that it has been sent and it automatically changes the status of our field so we have here the item 9 it's now set as sent so in this tutorial we talked about how to create new views in the table view we talked about creating conditional formatting in the form view we saw that we, we can see the form in a full screen and this will be very important when using dashboards. We also saw how to create cards and group our records directly in our card views and work with Kanban. Assigning this type of views in your database helps you to be more efficient with your processes and you can see your workflow in a more efficient way. Ninox.